Hi, I'm Paul Robertson, and I'm going to be taking you through the network management software that's used to control the ICON network. There's two components to the network management software. One is the SEL 5051 client software, which provides a graphical user interface to which you interact with the network. And there is also the SEL 5052 server software that is used to provide centralized authentication for multi-user access. It also has the advantage of reducing the burden on the network management channel when you have multiple clients accessing the network. When you open the 5051 client software, you're presented with a topology view of the network. In this example, we're showing a three node network. The coloration of each node provides a status of the node. And in this case, we're showing a healthy network with each of the nodes shown in green. If there was an alarm on the system, we would see the coloration change to amber in the case of a minor alarm or red in the case of a major alarm. We can also see the optics indicated here by A and B associated with each node. And again, they have the same status coloring indicating healthy or an alarm condition. By hovering over each node, we get a uh, indication of the IP address as well as the inventory of each of those nodes. Similarly, with each of the optics, we see, as we hover over each of them, a power um, indication, receive and transmit power, and a status indication. Also shown in the topology view is the link bandwidth between each of the connected nodes in the system. What we're showing here is a network that consists of one gigabit Ethernet interface links between each of our three nodes. You'll also see that there is a solid and a dotted link indication where we actually use the, um, the line to define the type of connection that exists between each node. Just taking a quick look through the ribbon across the top of the screen, we have the ability to, first of all, control the network entry points into the particular network. This allows us to set the associated IP address for our network management interface if we're connecting through Ethernet. We also see a range of controls that allow us to control the uh, positioning of the nodes on the screen. We can also publish the topology view to allow us to share a common view across all users on the network. And we can retrieve that published network topology view um, as well to allow us to, um, to use a common shared view across an organization. We've got the controls that allow us to, to drag, and we also have the ability to zoom um, in and out on the network based upon the number of elements that we may be trying to view on the system. And then on the far right-hand side, we have the ability to back up a network. We can back up the entire network, and we can also schedule a regular backup to, um, to a centralized location of each of our nodes on the system. So the next tab we're going to look at is the Bandwidth Manager. And the Bandwidth Manager provides an overview of the bandwidth utilization on the network. Moving to the next tab along our network management interface, we're looking now at the Circuit Wizard. The Circuit Wizard provides a tool that easily allows you to configure any circuit across the ICON network. The next tab is our device view and provides us the ability to drill into any node and any module within any node. Uh, we can navigate across the network using the toolbar on the left and choose any node on the network, or step by step move across the network node by node using the, uh, the elements or buttons above the, the visual that we're showing. The next tab is our firmware upgrade tab. This provides us with the ability to upgrade any module on the network. We have the ability to add uploads that we can either do immediately or we can schedule them to occur on any day or time. The next tab is our security control. And this provides us with the overview of any user that has been authorized to access the network. It also provides us with the history 
of any user access to the network. It allows us to exclude devices and ultimately provides us with our interface for managing user access and authentication to our network. The next tab is our system monitoring tab and this provides us uh, with a range of capabilities to first of all view any active alarm on the network and in this case we're dealing with a healthy network so we have no alarm conditions on the system. If we had an alarm we would see that published in the screen below. We also have another utility that allows us to perform a health check on the system. So show system findings will run a test and look at all the settings on the network and identify any misconfigured or stranded network settings that may exist on the network with a recommendation on how to resolve. The final tab is our reports tab. This allows us to extract a range of information from the network. We can pull global inventory and look at all of our associated nodes and inventory on particular modules. We can run an events report which allows us to, with the help of a filter, select a date range or an event or alarm type and pull a report that will extract information um, across that date range across those different event and alarm types. We can even pre-filter those that, to only focus on security events. We can also perform a settings baseline. So the settings report allows us to export to an external file the entire settings of the network and with that maintain over time a change status based upon that identified baseline. So we can maintain a history of what settings changes may have been made to the entire network over time. That concludes our overview of the 5051 and 5052 network management software. Thanks for watching.